The University Cup coming to Lethbridge is essentially a homecoming for past Pronghorns coaches and players. A lot of the players I haven't though seen for four or five years. Some of them I probably have not seen for 10, 15, some of them maybe even for 20 years. And, uh, uh, you know, it's great to see some of those players. And, you know, players like Dana McKechnie, whose son is on the team, and, you know, Scott Orban, whose son is on the team. So uh, it's great for those players, to, those people to come back and, and be able to mix with their people that they played with. It's, a, it's absolutely unreal. It's, it's uh, kind of... Um, Unbelievable when you think about 25 years passing, I'm sitting here and, and my son's going to play in this game, and some of these old kindred spirits and friends that we've uh, built such an amazing story with over the years come back together and it's like we've never really left. It's awesome. The game itself was physical, a blowout 7-1 victory for Alberta. The Golden Bears were favored to win, with 10 players having played at least one professional hockey game. The Pronghorns lost with humility. I give them a lot of credit. Uh, very good team. I give our team a lot of credit too. Uh, I'm so proud of the guys in that dressing room. Uh, you know, it's, it's been a tough, uh, tough two years. It really has. We lost a good member of our team, Brock Hirsch, last year, and he's. Uh, I know he's proud of us. Uh, you know, a community member, Logan Boulay, we lost too, and uh, I know he would be proud of us as well. Uh, I'm really proud of the boys in that room, and uh, yeah. Very detailed in, in, in their execution on the ice. Uh, I thought uh, I thought there were times where, where they really took advantage of some of the free pucks that we, we presented for them, unfortunately, from our standpoint. Uh, and you know, and, and good teams take advantage of those situations, and, and you know they're, they're the reigning national champions for for a reason, and maybe that reason alone, uh, they make you pay. Toronto Maple Leafs head coach Mike Babcock and former Lethbridge Pronghorns head coach says that once you've won, it's easier to do it again. The Alberta Golden Bears have done just that. Seven won the final. Pronghorns head coach Murray Nystrom says that they were challenged at playing at the national level. The Golden Bears have seven players with over 250 points in the WHL. For Bridge City News, I'm Ainsley O'Reilly.